currently just waiting for a load of photos to upload from the compact show so they're just whirring away in the background uh, i haven't really done much there apart from doing that and preparing for the shoot i'm about to go and do in a minute with a client of chloe pickford's uh, so just down at the gym on bristol road so i've got about 200 photos left to upload from what i've sent to the um stage stage gallery at the moment um as soon as though each photo is about seven megabytes per image it's going to take quite a while hopefully i'll be able to get this done um i'm just going to pack my bag up for the shoot now so just need to put my uh, elbs into the bag my other bag's ready and then also make sure i've got my stuff for tomorrow because right after this shoot i'm heading down to plymouth um so that's why i try to get as much work done as possible now um with the stage photography because i might not be able to do much until i'm back here on monday uh, i did want to try and get everything done pretty much now so you know, i've still got about half an hour before i need to leave for the shoot um Fingers crossed we have some have some fast internet. Gallery photos uploaded. I can start to get my stuff ready for the shoot. So I need to grab my stand. Light stand. always a pain when it's in three bits but it's the most portable lightweight stand I've got so it's a Marfro large base that's the one part and then the other part Matthew C stand center column and then it's the mini boom so Matthew's mini boom just makes it a lot more portable especially when traveling like gym to gyms and then I then just use a weight in whatever gym I'm in as a counterbalance one on the one on the stand and then one on the boom arm just so we won't have the tilt and because I don't know what the gym's like tomorrow grab a softbox from the box of softboxes <laughs> Hundred centimeter octa, where it looks. Let's uh, grab that, and then load up the car, and then head to the gym.
shoot with Chloe and Anna wrapped up, so I'm just uh, packing up my equipment before heading down to Plymouth. Uh, but what I'll do quickly before I actually get rid of everything is I'll show you what I'm using now because it's slightly changed from my first original uh, fitness lighting uh, video I made a few years ago. So what I'm using now, I've got uh, two Snapbox rectangle boxes, so they're the 55 by 75. So these fit directly onto the quadra heads, so you don't have to use an adapter. So it just makes it, you know, super lightweight and easy to travel with. And then they've both got a grid on the front. So just like a 30 degree grid, just to help with the light, uh, light control. So you've got two of those and the ELB packs there. So those tend to be the uh, side lights. So depending on how I'm shooting, I would normally have, you know, two lights either side as like rims just to help separate the athlete model from the background. And then the main light, 125 deep silver um, umbrella. And that's then on the Matthews C stand and then the mini boom arm. And then that's just a primal strength 10 kilo plate. But I just use whatever plates in the gym. And then for the lower fill, the 56 centimeter Porter light. So that's just below to accentuate the up light. So if I turn, turn this on quickly. So you can sort of see from this as well, you've got the light just coming from below and then the main light above. So especially for like physique shots, you'll be able to then just accentuate the muscle definition a little bit more. And it just helps to make the model stand out in the background as well, especially when I'm over, un, under exposing the background and then using the lights to correctly expose the model. So packing this up, head on the road. I've actually got to go back home because I forgot my chargers and I sort of need those to charge up the Enicron packs. So charge those up, drive down to Plymouth, check into the hotel and then back to working on some stage photography. So I'll catch you all in a bit. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Made it to the travel lodge eventually. Is there another light in here? Just the any. Wow. Cool. Yeah, finally at the travel lodge. Um, need to head to the car, grab my Enochrom bag, get those on charge, and then we can start doing some more editing of the photos. That was a loud bang. Have I? Oh, for fuck's sake, I've just left the key in the room. Oh, everything's going wrong. All right, reception. Trying to get another cue. Great.
photographer without saying you're a photographer. Basically, you bring your own power adapter to your power lodge so you can charge your battery packs ready for the next day. So those are all on charge now. Let's get my laptop out. And start doing some more stage photography because people need their photos right now. Well, yesterday, as soon as they step on stage, that's when they want the pictures. So, set my laptop up and then start going through the rest of the stage pictures from the class uh, 3 to L1, then it's the overalls, and then hopefully I'll be able to just upload the photos from the show um, throughout the night so they're all done. So then we'll then just be sending out the emails um, tomorrow, and then stage is all done. The gym shoot tomorrow is at 9ish. And I think the gym is not too far away from where I am. That's the reason why I booked. That's the reason why I booked this travel lodge. But you can't get any better than that in terms of planning. 0 0.6 mile, 30 minutes. All right, time to start editing. in the car park at the moment waiting for Georgia to turn up uh, before we go into the bodywheel gym Plymouth and do her shoot. However, I've just been to the Golden Arches, McDonald's, pick up some breakfast, orange juice, bacon, egg McMuffin I think, I don't know, and then some pancakes as well. So get this food down me, get my stuff from the boot into the gym and then wait for Georgia to turn up and then we can start shooting. Just finished the shoot with Georgia. Um, for someone that wasn't that confident at the start, the fact she managed to get into her little one-piece bodysuit and pose next to the dumbbell rack in a gym full of people, people were actually watching her as well. You know, she done amazing. And then we done a few sort of shots um, within here. So we used the punching bag and then the brick wall behind, as well as this sort of floor, just to get a bit more of the like sassy, I would say like confidence sort of style shots. Uh, so it turned out all right. Packing all this, need to take some photos of the gym just for the manager. Um, you know, thank you for having us body world Plymouth and hit the road, get some food, pick up a Peli case, which I'm gonna use for all my show day stuff. 
um, because I'm getting sick and tired of taking three or four bags. So if someone's gonna put it all within one, then I'll be able to you know, roll up to the show, set everything up, it can be a lot easier. But yeah, busy morning, um, pack this up and hit the road. One eternity later. Finally back home after the shoot with uh, Georgia this morning and then driving off to Weymouth to collect a Peli case. So the Peli case is going to be my go-to bag, well, hard case um, for show day. So I'm just waiting for some dividers to arrive tomorrow uh, from CBP and get those all sorted, be able to sort of lay out how I'm going to put the bag. Uh, so camera, lens, tether table, laptop, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I just sent Georgia her photos as well as Anna's, which was the shoot I'd done on Saturday, Sunday um, of Chloe Pickford's client. And currently back doing these stage photos, so getting all that done and then hopefully getting them all out this evening.